eyes on the water. Okay, let's see what new kind of creature they'll throw at us this week. Uh, uh some kind of alien crocogator? Hey, it is an alien crocogator. It's a lot of alien crocogators. Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Up Beyond Camera. We're tonight, we're watching The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 8. Last week was a really cool two-parter that brought back Rex and showed his band of rebel clones and... They were hiding in a location from the very original, the Clone Wars movie, the temple where they were hiding Jabba's kid, which was nuts. They brought Wolf back, which is huge, because Wolf is the one of the only confirmed clones to be alive by the time of Rebels. So that's a big deal, and he has to show up again. It would feel weird if they just di didn't explain him. And more importantly, there was the Shadow Clone, Clone X. Actually, I think the, his number was, what, CX2? Is that what they said online? The special one. I still think he's tech. I think he's it's very likely a Winter Soldier situation and he's tech. I've seen some people say he's Cody. I can kind of see where you're coming from. And I have also see a third big group that says this is going to be Maroc all over again, which means he's, he's just cool and nothing important. I'll accept that when that comes. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more of my content, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you don't want to do either, then let's just get in the episode. Bad territory. By staying away. Crosshair's right. If you go back to them, they'll just be hunted again because of you. And what does MCAN experiments mean? Jedi powers. The Force. This... <laughs> It's a really good thing that you changed the name to M Count and because to avoid midichlorians, and also so that nobody understands what you're talking about. Uh, she's a lesser pirate. Well, the only true pirate is Hondo Onaka, which I would have really loved seeing in this show. Hey. It may be our only option. I'm fine with seeing if May again. Oh, his hand's still shaking. What did they do to you, Crosshair? You and I will go alone. Oh, uh, just you two again. It's been fun to see Crosshair more. Stay out of trouble. Both of you. Fine. <laughs> Won't make the problem go away. That's correct. Hello, space station. But there's a certain other bounty hunter who we saw in a trailer. So are we really gonna run into Fennec Shand here? Or someone else? Thought that was another new droid for a second, but it's just one of those droids. Hi, Finnick, it's you. Are you Greedo? What kind of information can I help you with? One definition, M count. And I give you a price. Just tell her, you idiots. That's our business. We don't care about the M count targets. We want to know what M count means. Those jobs might more than you've got. I'm gonna, she, she, come on. Deliberately overcharging when you can just say, go search up Asajj Ventress. I've read your file, but he's been hard to catch without a crew. Ooh, I wonder who we're catching. Is it someone important or not? You'll be working for me. I'll get you what you want to know. Come on, boys, don't be surprised. This is, what else would you expect was gonna happen here? You'll use my ship. I keep the payment on the bounty. No problem. Just tell us what M count means. Unfortunately, it may never heal 100%. But what was the problem in the first place? You think it's in my head? It probably is in your head. Dude, it's defected. You got experimented on. Look at you got burned to shite. You got a chip in your head. Lots of stuff has been going on in there, bro. Hold up your end. It's also funny giving her more interaction with clones. And then, like, having her be, fo like, follow Boba later on. A praying mantis alien? Is that new to Star Wars? But eventually, everyone's luck runs out. Was that a line from The Mandalorian? Ten for that. Dude, that thing is a rust bucket. Does that thing even float? That's an interesting engine. Speeder thing. Eyes on the water. 
Okay, let's see what new kind of creature they'll throw at us this week. Uh, uh some kind of alien crocodile. Look, I like this boat, but couldn't you just have you reuse the hovercraft from Clone Wars? Uh, that's a lot of them. See, if you were just in the hover boat, you could have just gone over them. And we have the element of surprise. Or he'll completely see you wasting your time trying to disarm them and attack you. By the way, I was reminded since they got in the water. Don't forget to hydrate, folks. Oh, this is gonna take so long. You're still more capable than most. Doesn't matter. He's not supposed to be more capable than most. He's supposed to be perfect. That's how he's grown up. Oh, I love the jacket. It looks so good. This is it. This is probably Omega's best outfit in the show so far. I'm not gonna like it, am I? Or say she. You don't like anything. Exactly. True. And <laughs> he accepts it too. Hey, it is an alien crocodile. It's a lot of alien crocodiles. Wanna speed it up? Oh, shut up. Come on, Fennec, you're just supposed to be better than this. Damn it. Honestly, it probably would have been faster to just well, go a safe distance and set off the mines than having to silently um, maybe I was remove them for hours. Maybe you guys aren't cut out for this job. Oh, shut up, me. You think you can I guess you'll work for anybody as long as you get paid. Yes, that's what bounty hunting is, Wrecker. Well, money's not everything. <laughs> you have this conversation every single time you meet a bounty hunter in any kind of fiction. This is their job. They get paid to do work. They do work. And you get all the reward. Correct. This is a trap or something. Come on. This is too easy. Above you! Oh my god, look up! Nobody ever looks up. What's the point of your super senses, Hunter, if you got snuck up that easily? Couldn't smell him? Uh, it's taking your boat, Fennec? Ah, uh, good job. Oh, no, it spits. And it's got your knife. How many stun shots can this thing take? You should tie him up. No? Okay, cool. <laughs> meditation? What? Your idea is meditation? It's nice to see roles reversed here. With Omega trying to help a Crosshair out, rather than Omega being helped by, by the others. Where did you learn this? A Jedi! I picked it up from my... Feel the force, crosshair. <laughs> Great. You're gonna leave off Ventress Reveal for even longer? All this side questing, and we didn't even actually make a step forward. Clone. Oh shit, who are you working for? About the Empire. Oh, you're talking to Ventress, got it. I'm sure you can track that. Ba ba da ba 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 Well, that was episode 8, Bad Territory. Which I guess was that weird Florida swamp planet? Today was back to side to a side quest episode, but it was fun seeing Fennec Shand again. Increasing her character's importance and role in the universe. The way Star Wars always does, right? <laughs> They always start out as like a cool one-off character and then they get brought back from the dead and they just brought back for here and there and that and this. And Fennec Shan is just one of those characters. While the Bad Batch may not know it, Ventress is now on their tail. She's coming with them. So at the very least, there was some point to the episode, not just completely time waste. And then there was this really nice moment with Crosshair and Omega. I almost really like the fact that um, that Crosshair just listens to Omega. He doesn't, at least at the very least, we're not showing him complaining too much. 
Right. I expected to see a scene where he'd complain that, oh, no, my hand is fine. No big deal. I don't need to be checked out. But we just cut straight to him getting checked out. Right. The AZ is like, OK, I've tried a whole bunch of stuff, but this problem is probably psychosomatic. And then even though he wouldn't like it, he still tried doing meditation with Omega. It's really nice. Scarily nice, since it gives me red flag warnings. I really hope Crosshair doesn't die too. The fact that they're searching for M count is so massively frustrating because it's something that we know as an audience. We know exactly what they're talking about. And they don't. And we can do nothing but yell at the screen and frustration at most. Good to see Fennec. Can't wait to see Ventress. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that reaction. What was your favorite part of this episode? Over here is the next reaction, wherever that comes out. Over here is a playlist to my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya!